COVID has really changed the way we're going about everything. Can't go inside spaces, can't really do anything with the reception. People are just not even able to install. It's totally destroyed the artist's way of life. Residencies, traveling and lecturing and touring and doing all these things is impossible right now. A lot of things stop, <laughs> so this is a great way to reactivate uh, those activities and let people know that we're still here and <laughs> we're still making art. We make art as artists every day, but we don't always have opportunities to share them with communities and the public. This is an outstanding way for us to make contact with the people that live in the places where we inhabit, and I'm excited to just have this message out in the world. I decided to be a part of this project because I felt like we don't see as many installations, public installations of Taos Pueblo, especially coming from a photographer that lives in the Pueblo. This is um, my first window installation I've ever done. I usually do shows in galleries or museums and, you know, hanging on a window is a whole different deal. But it's fun. It's been fun doing this project to show the lowriding culture and the lowrider art. I'm glad I got picked to do it. Most people typically don't see a gallery open sign and walk in, and by having them just in the window front, we even get to engage the non-art market um, just by being on the street side. I think the initiative is really a bold kind of thing to do uh, right now because, you know, everybody is stuck in their collective corners. And so for me personally, it allows me to kind of expand on what it is to be an artist even though that these are challenging times, we're still creating things and we're still thinking of things. Maybe the pandemic is like restraining our practice, but I think having limitation also creates better results. Sometimes the best projects are the best things come from limitations, right? How do we have to think through struggles and resolve them? COVID and the quarantine, it has provided us a very unique moment to think about our actions, how we impact our surroundings, our context, and even though it has affected us in a negative way in different aspects, it's also a time to think and see how we can come together to solve worldwide problems. My piece is called Looking Forward. The idea is that from our homes, from our own windows, we are all looking forward for a better future. It represents the lessons learned and all the good wishes that we have. With COVID, having that off time, we're able to actually engulf into what we believe in. This was really inspired by a lot of the protesting that was going on. Albuquerque is like 3% black, and to have one of the biggest protests happen in Albuquerque be for Black Lives Matter, I thought it would be really great to put archival images of black family on the streets, especially in the past that we usually walk when we're doing the protest. The Black Family Archive is like the, one of the most important things to, to the Black family because we don't have those positive images on TV. And so the photo albums are usually where we see those images of positivity, where there's like Black people smiling or like loving each other or holding each other. And I think it'll be really good to just see that like as a normal thing walking down the street. During this time of racism and riots and change, hopefully it's change, Coming from my culture, yeah, maybe there is some change happening, and this is very positive, but it's not over, like, it never ends. We can't stop, we have to keep pushing this forward. The teepee can withstand hurricane forces and incredible environmental uh, conditions, and if it's put up properly and facing east, you can totally regulate the heat and uh, the temperature inside the space. It's just really fabulous. That's what we need, we need to show them one of the one of our greatest inventions, one of our greatest discoveries, the teepee, you know? That should be in space. And so it, it, it looks like that. It looks like this encapsulated thing that's gonna blast off. This is a rocket ship with a house in it. And it's not just any house, it's my house. And, and it's not just my house, but it's my culture's house. In the bigger context, I think that art is a means to understand and means to get some type of knowledge, to 
create a different narrative. It's different for you to like read it um, and understand it, but also look at it and experience it. It's another thing. Right now, most of us are living in the virtual world, so to bring these opportunities, it's like a reminder that we're still a community and there are things that we can do, places we can visit. Art is such a visceral experience. Windows on the future really allows people to take a walk, get some fresh air, but then also look at the work, embrace it, and try to experience something that's uh, kind of missing from their world right now. Mm -hmm.